putting him over his shoulder, slamming it into the ground. The skull crawler is only able to turn 15 degrees like Rod Wave, but is unable to bite him, putting his whole foot on top of this man's head. Godzilla and Ghidorah start charging towards each other, meeting up in the middle, eventually letting go a big sonic boom. Charging up and exploding all over Ghidorah, literally incinerating two of his heads. So LeBron Kong James dunks on the skull crawler using a boulder. And I'm gonna need y'all to hand this man right here his Oscar already. Because that look of terror in his eyes is real. He was clearly summoning his childhood in this performance right here. Not only that, but look at this frame right here. He's behind Conrad, right? But as we go into the next one, he's already gone. Crazy part is that was still more screen time than Ten Ten. The skull color then bites onto Kong's arm, and the neck bite to Kong is what the barbershop is to KD, his arch nemesis. He been rocking that ground beef for hair cut for too long now. Kong punches the skull color in the throat and then manages to rip its grip from off his neck. The skull color got his mouth wide open and Kong is smelling that Jack Harlow album coming from it. That shit stank, don't it. Bro is going certified paper plate on every album, but Kong can't believe the smell, so he slams the skull color's mouth closed onto the mountain. Kong hits him with a side eye and then proceeds to bring his arm back OD, ready to smack fire out this man, but he misses the hit. Going for an elbow, getting his arm bitten and pulled down into the water. Godzilla must have been watching film because he used these same methods versus Kong with his big hungry ass. Everybody, every chef there wants to meet him. The, the, the word out is that he'll eat the table, I'm quoting. Kong pushes his face away, getting headbutted right back and just manages to stop him from biting his face off. But the part that really got me sick is how they got Captain Marvel and Loki in this bitch and none of them are helping Kong out at all. Aren't y'all some fucking wizards? Turn his ass into a popsicle. Kong smacks him off of him, picking up a tree, clearing off the branches to turn it into a spear. Keep in mind, Kong is only described as an adolescent in this movie and his battle IQ is already so high. It just got me thinking about how crazy that growth spurt was from this movie into Godzilla vs Kong. I know Julian Newman is jealous of those genes. He was supposed to be next up, but he peaked at 5'2". Now Juan Decimo spends his time hooping against YouTubers instead. Hold up! I smell new shoe! You monkey! Absolutely smacks the goofy out of him. Kong hit this man so hard the tree is completely disintegrated. The skull crawler gets up and Rohan Murphy's his way back in, but is unable to bite him, putting his whole foot on top of this man's head. Out here little bro in him, I'll kiss I'll you on your you forehead. Me. Leaves track marks on the back of Kong's head, wrapping around him and chucking him into an abandoned ship. Somehow, some way, these riders always got Kong chained up. That's gotta be racist. The skull color pulls up, stomping Kong in his chest and starts licking his face. Ew. But then out of nowhere, Brooks comes in to save the day. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? He starts blasting the skull crawler, and after looking at his player build for 5 seconds, I already know, Brody's a Super Smash Bros demon. Look at his cut. All these people here at the fight and only one man decided to step up and do something. Just a big pandemic of losers like these TikTok artists. We need less rappers and more fry cooks, my nigga. The machine gun is actually working, putting in damage versus the skull crawler, so he dips out, smacking Kong in the process real quick. But on some Looney Tunes shit, the turret runs out of ammo at the worst time possible. Black dude starts scrambling, trying to figure out what to do next, while the skull crawler looks at them and is like, Oh, say less. <laughs> now they're sitting ducks, so he starts charging in at them, ready to feast. Everybody on the boat, and they can't believe what they're seeing hurling towards them. As he's nearing in, Kong is finally able to stand up after 30 damn minutes. He used the potential of Godzilla clowning him for losing to a skull crawler as motivation. And you fat as fuck and, and <laughs> nigga shut the fuck up. Man. Yeah. Peeping that there's a propeller connected to the end of the chain. I'm thinking, oh yeah, Kong about to get busy. But then the humans just come back in, bruh. Captain Marvel shoots off a flare, but it ain't do none. Hmm? <laughs> But any <laughs> So while the skull crawler is feeling that Magic Johnson aids burning pain on the side of his face, the humans start spraying to help out. But they're more useless than A Train and his foundation. I still remember when Lil Bro said his wish was to live. They looked at him like, oh, you sure you're not just trying to meet LeBron or some shit? 
The Skullcrawler starts chasing after Loki, and he's just trying to avoid getting his neck turned into an obtuse angle again. Kong uses the propeller, chucking it at the Skullcrawler, hitting it in the ribcage, knocking it off its all twos. Oh, man, Kong, don't, don't miss. miss. So Mike Wazowski's slightly uglier twin starts getting reeled in by Kong like he's playing a mean game of tug of war and rips a page out of the Hulk's book, you know, before this nigga started doing yoga. Jumps on the back of the skull crawler, choking it out with a chain, flexing the fact that he has opposable thumbs. And this is the part where Kong scans the skull crawler's power level to peep that he's over 9,000 levels of trash. Cause he starts cooking bro, putting him over his shoulder, slamming it into the ground. The skull crawler is only able to turn 15 degrees like Rod Wave. So Kong manages to grab its tail, slamming and chucking it into the side of the mountain. <laughs> Captain Marvel is washed and lost her ability to fly, so she goes falling off the mountain into the water. Kong's Captain Save a White Woman instincts start kicking in, so he activates his inner Winter Soldier. I mean, just look at his face. This is the most worried he seemed all movie. It only takes a little bit of white brainwash to activate the cool chip. Kong reverses him and then hits him with a left. And every occupation needs its tools. Messi needs a football. DDG needs musical talent. And Kong the pizza man needs his slicer, grabbing it back. Kong decided that this fight is over. Bro is tired. He's so used to no diffing the skull crawlers because he be catching them lacking as babies, but this adult one is clearly a lot higher on the kaiju rankings. They oddly stare at each other for a few seconds until Kong hits him with a left, bopping him in the head and then slides open his throat using a pizza cutter. And a lot of y'all who grew up eating ice cream cereal gonna catch PTSD seeing this scene right here. The milk is getting diluted in the water, so Kong quickly takes a moment to admire his kill and goes into the water to pick her up, saving her life. Before this, I used to think Kong was just like me, but now, I'm not so sure. Your wife is white, so we gonna stop the black talk right there. Kong is over here admiring her, and what the fuck? How is the Skullcrawler still alive? Captain Marvel is just slumped right now. She is completely useless. If this was the version of her that pulled up for Endgame, Thanos would have for sure won and dropped some hard-ass bar in the process. You guys wanted to make fun of my bald, shiny head. Well, today will be the day that you forever dread. And looking at it now, this gotta be a callback to the 2005 King Kong film. Because just like in that movie when he was fighting off some dinosaur looking motherfuckers while holding his crushy washy in his hand, and the same thing is happening here. Not to mention that that version of King Kong was out here ripping out the tongues of his opponent's mouths. And peep what this Kong does. After the skull crawler wraps his tongue around his arm, Kong tries pulling away but the throat game is just too OP. Type of shit that got you hitting the Jordan logo. So his arm gets pulled into the skull crawler's mouth, and while the skull crawler is deep throating it, Kong's got that whoa, my soul is getting snatched look on his face. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. And I'm does sure. his Mortal Kombat finishing move, grabbing the skull crawler and pulling out its tongue, but not just its tongue, its entire insides in the process. I swear all of his kills be so brutal, but it ends with him opening his hand to check to see if she's okay. My son Kong really put his life on the line for her, bro. She is very gorgeous to me! So Godzilla and Ghidorah are staring at each other. Godzilla blowing smoke out of his nose like a bull ready to charge in. But I can't lie to you, he's way out of your weight class, little bro. Even with Godzilla being 80% belly, his shit's ready to touch the fucking floor, he's still too little. We see the two of them start roaring at each other, and I just know they talking mad shit. Even got the cameraman spooked, bros recording from inside the fighter jet. Listen team, when we're out there, we gotta get the best angles. We? <laughs> we. <laughs> Godzilla blocks the bite from Ghidorah, leaning back and taking a big chunk out of his neck, and then slamming his head into the ground. That one head is definitely raging on the mic like me on Warzone. Our whole squad was standing here together. How am I the only one that got knocked? What did I do? The cameraman, for whatever reason, starts shooting the humans, so we kind of miss it. But Ghidorah hits Godzilla with the gravity beam, knocking his ass to the ground. Starts standing over him looking like, is this, is this your, your king? king? Ghidorah then whips out his phone to hop on IG Live to let the whole monster verse know. Boy, ain't I painted that nigga when he was on the ground. What did you say, nigga? I swear I've never seen Godzilla get up this fast before. But all he did was get up to eat a full face of lightning. Godzilla's getting fed up and he's like, man, watch this. Starts charging up his own laser beam, firing off his atomic breath. But he got it looking like the MonsterVerse version of the Final Flash, cause it puts in no pain. But since his dumbass wanted to go for the neck instead of the body, bro decided to aim for the smallest hitbox, he misses. 
getting hit right back, collapses to the ground and goes rolling off the ice. The humans peep that Godzilla is getting destroyed over there, so they send in reinforcements to try to help out. They start blasting him with missiles and I'm not gonna lie, they actually put in some work. Godzilla then gets back up for the 19th time and he got a different type of energy now. He on some and we back and we back starts pulling up but Ghidorah checks his surroundings and he's like man screw this y'all not about to do me like Jiraiya and just decides to dip out. Godzilla down there screaming like yeah your ass better run but come on bro let's be serious he spared you. The next day. So later on Eleven from Stranger Things is out here getting hunted down by Ghidorah. I don't know why she won't just lift his ass up. What's with these characters deciding to just not use their powers? But just in the nick of time, Godzilla pulls up with an entire fucking army backing him. They treating Ghidorah like he Thanos. Eleven peeps that Godzilla's pulling up and she starts cheesing. I'm crying. He's not here for you, shorty. There's still a Godzilla shaped hole in the snow. He just wants his run back. Godzilla and Ghidorah start charging towards each other, meeting up in the middle, eventually letting go a big sonic boom. Everybody in that range watching the Kaisenai stream got their shit turned off. Godzilla did y'all a favor. Godzilla then grabs Ghidorah by the neck and throws him into the stadium, walks up to him and slaps him in the face, then trips him with his tail. Godzilla clearly got that Mamba mentality. He been putting in work in the gym. It's only unfortunate that y'all made that shit corny. Dudes talking about they would rather have Mamba mentality than LeBron's money. We about to have the most tryhard grocery baggers of all time. Godzilla pushes Ghidorah and goes in for a slap, but his ass is moving too slow, getting bitten by all three heads and getting slammed into the ground, dragged across the concrete. Godzilla is finding out why Ghidorah got that king in his name now. They tried calling Kong King, they tried calling Godzilla King. Those are all some Mickey Mouse ass titles. This is the real deal. Godzilla pulls him off his neck and starts blasting him with the atomic breath. But as this is happening, Godzilla's side piece comes through to save the day. She's a ride or die. Mothra charges in and webs Ghidorah to the building. Ghidorah's stuck there and he's trying desperately to pull himself free, but as he looks up, he sees Godzilla's face in the reflection. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Godzilla sneaks up behind him with the quiet footsteps of mini earthquakes laying out Ghidorah. He then takes a step back, stares at Ghidorah and is like, man, you are not even worth my time. Mothra, come over here and handle my light work. So she starts coming in, but doesn't even really get the chance because out of nowhere, Rodan comes in to save his daddy. It's like, damn, bruh, is there quite an all you do? He tried to pull up on Ghidorah earlier in the movie and got sunned so quick. So I guess he just pulled a Chris from Mr. Beast and switched teams. Godzilla grabs Ghidorah by the neck and starts using him as a wrecking ball through all the buildings. Ghidorah starts thinking to himself like, damn, I'm, I'm getting, getting cooked. cooked. So he activates his Super Saiyan transformation, turning around and taking a big chomp out of the power plant. I hate cheaters over here using PEDs mid-fight. The light is shining so crazy it got Godzilla moonwalking backwards. That shit is brighter than the top of the rock's head. Just Ghidorah's aura alone got Godzilla's face burnt, got him panting, taking deep ass breaths. It's clear Godzilla's stamina isn't where it should be. So while he's taking a break in the background, Rodan has Mothra pinned up against the building. She manages to scratch him in the face making him take some steps back, but he ends up using that to his advantage, building up a full head of steam charging back in. She then shows off her defense and elite head movement, dodging and weaving out of the way of every bite attempt he puts up, eventually stabbing him in the chest killing him. Listen, at the end of the fight, Mothra is very weakened, but she held up her end of the bargain, winning her 1v1. And I'ma tell you right now, that nigga Godzilla gonna owe her some money because he is not holding up his end of the deal. Ghidorah jumps on top of Godzilla, grabbing him, and despite the fact that Godzilla weighs 164,000 tons, Ghidorah still manages to lift this man off the ground while choking his ass out, pulling him all the way up into the sky. And at this point, it's pretty obvious what Ghidorah's plan is here. He wants to hit Godzilla with that Riverdale attack, the ultimate fall off. Dropping Godzilla from all the way up got him falling so fast he's burning up on the way down until he crash lands and he's out for the count. It's over. Everybody expected and is like, yo, chill, bro. Godzilla's already dead. But Ghidorah's like, man... We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. So he pulls back up, and Godzilla got that help, help me, me nigga look in his face. So Mothra, while being like half dead, pulls up to face Ghidorah by herself. 
Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Godzilla vs. Ghidorah, Godzilla vs. the Scar King in the new film, my boy is allergic to not jumping. Mothra charges in towards Ghidorah and in a calm like 15 seconds gets sent back to the loading screen by his gravity beam. But this is all part of her plan, she knew she couldn't win this fight, she's not Videl. She was purposely sacrificing herself to transfer over her energy to Godzilla, helping power him up. I'ma need everybody to give a salute to the queen of monsters, man. She's a real one. Ghidorah peeps the power boost, but he's not okay. impressed. He starts pulling up on Godzilla to finish the job, and Godzilla already knows what's coming. <laughs> As Godzilla's laying there, Ghidorah starts licking his lips, confusing bro for a loaf of bread. Starts wrapping around Godzilla, taking chunks out of him, but he tastes like straight batteries and radiation. Ghidorah's confused, like when the fuck did I order Burger King? But luckily, the humans are able to distract them, giving Godzilla a chance to start his comeback. He starts walking through the city with radiation beaming off of him crazy, melting everything in the process, flexing his Super Saiyan God form. Ghidorah starts barking at him, but that boy a Chihuahua. Godzilla said man watch this showing off a real man's roar charging up and emitting mothra's energy towards ghidorah ghidorah tries his best to block the attack using his wings but all he did was turn himself into sasuke uchiha times two getting both of them disintegrated away ghidorah doesn't know what to do so he decides to just bust out all reliable his gravity beams but all that does is tickle godzilla my boy's eating that shit like baby food godzilla's like you done bro okay, okay. My turn. Charging up and exploding all over Ghidorah, literally incinerating two of his heads. It's a good thing Godzilla couldn't do all of this versus Kong. Kong would have closed his eyes going in for a punch towards Godzilla and opened them to him swinging on Harambe. Godzilla stomps on Ghidorah's chest and literally just makes his whole body explode. And you know none of the kaijus could just end the fight regularly. They all gotta bust out their emote real quick. He starts trolling, tossing around one of Ghidorah's heads that's still alive somehow, destroying it with his atomic breath while it's in his mouth. And the movie ends with this badass shot. Godzilla, the new king of monsters, roaring on top of here to let everybody know who's boss. And they must have all heard it and was like, alright bro, you got it because a ton of monsters start pulling up getting ready to bow down to him. 